Hey everyone, Joshua14, and here is a little taste of gaming with the Surface Pro X. So, I have been trying to install and play so many games on this device. This is the 8 gig model, 128 gig of storage SSD, and uh, it still has the same CPU and GPU on all the models. Um, but this is what you're going to look at. Uh, when you install Origin to play, say, Battlefield, uh, you're not playing Battlefield 1, you're not playing Battlefield 5 or Hardline, you're not playing Apex Legends, and of course, I know you really wanted to play Anthem, but you're not playing that. So these are your options, um, and I played Battlefield 4 on this, uh, where with Punk Buster installed, you cannot even play multiplayer. I tried to play Crisis 2, uh, this version does not even run. Um, what else did I try? Uh, Mass Effect runs decent. Um, Most Wanted will not run as well. Uh, the Battlefield, uh, Battlefront games uh, will not run, and Titanfall 2 uh, will not run. So uh, that is on Origin's side. Let's check out Epic's game store here. Um, I played Overcooked, no problem, Costume Quest, no problem, Transistor, even though you can install it, ran horribly, so did Kingdom New Lands, did not even run, uh, Enter the Gungeon did not run either, um, and then we have all of these, uh, games where you can see Alan Wake, OS Unsupported, Batman, Arkham Asylum, Although the Arkham Asylum and Arkham City Steam versions run fine, uh, Borderlands 3 cannot play it. Celeste cannot play it. Uh, Dauntless cannot play it. Um, here's the big one. Fortnite OS unsupported does not work. So even though uh, Hyperlight Drifter I actually was able to get run on the Twitch store, um, so but Lego Batman games, none of those work. Uh, Limbo does not work. Metro 2033 Redux does not work. Moonlighter doesn't work. Mutant Year Zero. Um, the list goes on and on of all the games that um, will not work. So, uh, Slime Rancher and Shadow Complex Remastered, though, but uh, I did not get to try those. So, uh, and then finally, going to show you um, when you try and run Overwatch install a 64-bit operating system is required to install and play so these are just some of the headaches that you're going to have um, I, I also tried to run Hearthstone uh, it crashes on uh, start Diablo 3 does run I heard Heroes uh, does not run Starcraft and Starcraft 2 both run but run uh, not that great so um, yeah, and Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops 4, 64-bit, obviously. I don't have, um, Modern Warfare, but, uh, that is 64-bit as well. So, um, all that to say, you're gonna have a, a tough time playing games, um, on the Surface Pro X, uh, at least the 8 gig model. I've heard um, there are some users on Reddit that have had more success with the 16 gig model, 512 gig SSD, but that uh, ups the price way, way too much. And um, for a device that is new, I can understand having some growing pains. Like there's some games that run great, like Stardew Valley, like Overcooked, Overcooked 2, uh, Hyperlight Drifter and games like that, smaller indie games um, that uh, do have good um, x86 32-bit um, games will emulate uh, decently well, uh, but the larger games um, just can't keep up and most of them run really bad. So uh, the other game I tried, um, Magic the Gathering Arena, was crashing a lot. Some people said that, that they're... They had some good luck playing it, but, um, you know, all this to say, you probably should wait 
to pick up this device if you wanted to play some games um, on the regular. I've made a bunch of gaming videos that you all can check out. I uh, created a playlist on my YouTube channel um, just for the Surface Pro X, just this base model, so you can check out uh, how these games run. But I uh, just wanted to give you a general overview on my experience with gaming on the Surface Pro X. Um, and I've been gaming on all of the Surface Pros from the Surface Pro 4, 5, 6, 7, and the Surface Go, as well as the Surface Book 2 and regular Surface Book with performance base. I have not ever had this much problems trying to play games, but I hope that you all have enjoyed the content that I've been putting out for it and can make a good decision. Um, but if it were up to me, I would not purchase this if you were planning on gaming um, on the regular unless it were the titles that I've played that run just fine. Um, like I said, there's smaller indie titles, but there's just plenty of games that just flat out don't run. You can install them and it will crash and it's very frustrating. So hopefully you guys uh, got something out of this video and um, if you do have any comments on the matter, I'd be more than happy to chat with anybody about Surface Pro X gaming, but uh, stay tuned for more Surface Pro 7 gaming uh, because that's what I'm going to concentrate on. I'm upgrading from the i5 to the i7 very soon. So uh, thank you all so much and keep gaming on the Surface. Take care.